Welcome, my name's Dr. Jason W. Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people and theologists help people with themselves and God. Hello everyone, Revelation chapter 4, thank you for joining me. This is verse 1 of Revelation chapter 4. After these things I looked, and behold, this is John the Apostle, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet, speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven. So there's a throne in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper and sardis stone in appearance, and there was a rainbow around the throne, in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones, and on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and there had crown and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. My goodness, what a magnificent scene! This is going on up there now. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And we should have saw that coming, shouldn't we? Because we did the seven spirits of God. Wow! Before the throne... There was a sea of glass like crystal and in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion. The second living creature like a calf. The third living creature had a face like a man and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. Wow! The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within. And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Now listen. Who was the one who was and who is and who is to come. In the previous chapters, the Lord Jesus Christ. So who are they saying is holy, holy, holy? They're saying the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come, who is God himself and the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I and my Father are one. You cannot separate these you cannot separate the triune god even though he's in three different things he's still one i can you can't explain it can you but it's the way it is that's referring to the lord jesus christ i'm not trying to convince you of something that's not there you have to ask the holy spirit to help you understand how the lord jesus christ can be the lord god almighty Jehovah, who was and who is and who is to come, because that's what it says. That's what these seraphim, apparently these are seraphim that have eyes everywhere and they don't rest day or night, are declaring that Jesus Christ, who was and who is and who is to come, is holy, 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 and the Lord God Almighty. Now please don't get cranky at me. This is the scripture, Jehovah Witnesses. You've got to work out how that can be, and you will if you put your work to it, but you'll never work it out into the teachings of the Jehovah Witnesses or anybody else that doesn't believe Jesus is, is God manifest in the flesh. Let's see if we can finish this chapter. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honour and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, that, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. The twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things. Well, who created all things? 
the Lord Jesus Christ, and by your will they exist and were created. Well, that there, by your will, that was God's... So this, this is going beyond the Lord Jesus Christ to the Heavenly Father because he did the Father's will. But he created all things through his word. So you, again, you can't separate the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I've gone over time, but I want to say this. In Hebrews, let me guess and forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's, I'm going to commit myself here. It's chapter 1, verse 3 or chapter 11, verse 3. It says this, By the word which was the Lord Jesus Christ before he came a man, of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath, which is the Spirit, see the word and the Spirit of his mouth. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. And that's the end of chapter 4. Thank you for joining me. And on that wonderful note, I conclude. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. Watch it on YouTube. Please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. Watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.